Open up the editor, go to the Monsters tab, and click on the first object. Then, go to Edit Special. I'm going to simplify this process a lot for you, so don't worry about all those complicated options just yet. Click on the One button just above the Particle Viewer, and click and drag to make a box that particles will spawn inside. Then, click the Two button, and drag is how gravity works. Finally, click the Three button and set the angle and speed for the particles. If you want to change how wide the spread is, then adjust the plus or minus slider for the angle attribute. You can do this with the radius option as well. This will set where the particles spawn, where they move towards, and their angle in a circle. You can set this in the top left corner. Next, let's talk about colors. Go to the Extras tab and click on the Use Object Color checkbox. Then exit the particle system and click on the RGB button. The first color will determine how the particles look at the start, while the second determines how they look at the end. You can also enable blending with the Additive checkbox or manually set the colors in the Visual tab. Third, there's Particle Size and Spin. Go to the Visuals tab and let's talk about each slider. The slider names are fairly self-explanatory. Start Size determines the start of the particles when they first start, for example. Plus or minus slider next to most attributes lets you randomize things a little bit as well. You can also use the free, relative, and grouped options in the extra tab to change how particles render when they get moved. Play around with these options as much as you like, as they are pretty useful. Finally, let's discuss some more technical things about each slider. Lifetime is how long a particle lives, duration is how often particles spawn in groups, and emission is how fast particles are emitted every duration. If this all sounds confusing, just use the max and calc buttons to constantly spawn an optimal number of particles. Speed determines a particle's default speed, while angle changes the spread of particles. Pose var x and y draw the box in which particles spawn, kind of like start and end radius in the radius mode. Gravity makes objects fall in the direction of gravity, accelerad makes objects move towards or away from the center, while Excel tan and road seek make objects orbit around the center. Start and end RGBA change the red, green, blue, and opacity channels for each particle. Fade in and out makes particles fade in and out. Friction P, S, and R apply friction to the particle's position, size, and rotation. Uniform object color keeps the object's colors the same throughout so they don't vary. Order sensitive lets them respond to Z order, and star RGB and N RGB var sync makes particles start and end with the same color. Animate on trigger lets you turn particles on with the animate trigger, while animate active only makes it so they only activate while they're on screen. Dynamic Rotation makes particles dynamically rotate based on how you rotate them, Start Rotation is Direction, sets particles direction to their initial rotation, and Start Size, Spin, and Rad equals End make particles start values the same as their end ones. And that's about it. If you want to learn more about the editor or creating in general, be sure to check out our Discord server. That aside, that is the Particle Editor in Geometry Dash.